Figure this out. So the intellectual movie we are watching at the moment is Pokemon Detective Pikachu. So um, yeah, we'll see how this turns out. And are we all ready and comfy? I want a mission to film. I think everybody wants a. I'm dressed for once. I'm they, dressed. They, they're having a PJ day, I think, with their onesies on. Again. Do excuse the mess. We are in the process of tidying up, and I want to get all the Christmas gifts put away. So I'll probably show you um, what I got um, for Christmas after our movie. We have got lunch on at the moment. Um, we're having cold turkey, fries, stuffing, and baked beans today. Agent Romanoff, please respond. Well, I guess you're a little busy. I'm sure I did something like this very similar last year on Boxing Day. This is sorting out the gifts, getting rid of packaging and putting the gifts away. So here it is, a pile of them. There is a few bits still downstairs. Some of the chocolates have made room in the fridge for because hubby doesn't like warm chocolates. So some of those have gone. Some chocolates I'll be storing out the way until the others are gone. So I'll quickly um, go through some of the things we had for Christmas. Right, so as I said, I'm sorting out the gifts. Do excuse any noises. The guys are play, um, still having a gaming session downstairs. Um, also, we have had um, been on the um, game store online and purchased the original um, set of um, Sonic games and also um, more up-to-date version of the Sonic. I don't know what it was called off the top of my hand, but I know for a fact when the guys did it online, um, they saved over 28 pounds, so I'm quite happy with the games they bought. As I said, allowing for allowance and money they've had for Christmas, so that's what they're doing at the moment. I, although I think they're playing Marvel at the moment, but as you might have seen by a few clips, um, we're playing Sonic and then again the Marvel game but anyway yeah so how I sort this out um, instead of um, you know going from room to room or up and down the stairs I clump all of the gifts together and I sort them out like clothing um, sweets and chocolates toiletries things like that or if they have to go into separate um, bedrooms that sort of thing um, so I know we did have, because everybody knows how much hubby loves shortbread 
and this is not half it we had two more um containers full of shortbread as well besides the one that i purchased um as well um just in case there is one thing i didn't actually receive and i refrain from purchasing so i may have to go back um and go shopping is i did not receive a calendar <laughs> um often i don't know if everybody was the same i bought myself a calendar and then ended up having about three or four so i didn't purchase one um i did put one of the poundland like um diaries in my um stocking uh, which i'll show you in a moment luckily i had that else i wouldn't have anything and i will have to be sorting out my planner soon as well for the new year so that's going off a bit off topic so like i do i sort out i'll try and pull out some of the things that i have actually had um for christmas myself including this um sweater which we bought when we was in warwickshire well hubby bought me this i pointed this out in tk maxx and i was umping an hour and hubby said oh not bothered i know i've got quite a lot of clothing and i got quite a few christmas bits and i always purchase them after christmas i don't tend to pay full price but anyway what happened about this one is um i went off to um, to film um, TK Maxx and you might have seen it in my hall when I was back in the caravan hubby has surprised me with this um, nice comfy fleece it says granny elf on it and I did end up putting it as you know in one of these boxes for Christmas along with some fluffy socks so this came from TK Maxx and this is probably one of the main items that we were um, did pay full price for or hubby did Right, um, as I said before, I um, showed you on Christmas Day, I, I got some gifts from friends. I got the snowman that lights up that you might have seen in um, some of the shots. And I opened that and my friend said I could open it because it's for me and my granddaughter so I could use it before Christmas. So I haven't got that up here. This is a bottle and it says, friend, kind in all you do. I would never be without you and it's one of those lighter ones but it hasn't actually got batteries in at the moment so that's that so that's kind of sweet so I could use that any time of year actually um yeah I'm gonna be a bit fidgety my legs ache um some of the items I've already shared as I said um got me fluffy socks and I'm gonna wear I think a pair of these after I've had my bath tonight so and these come in the stripy ones um the plain red ones and then the, these stripy ones but one of the pairs does have that christmas tree on i do like this the only thing is with these um does it have velcro no it doesn't is i must admit when i'm in if i happen to um go to bed and leave these on for a time don't normally sleep in them unless my feet are really that cold then i do obviously take them off when I settle down but that can be a little bit I think uncomfortable for leaning on so I would probably prefer to wear those but those sort of during the day so I've got those they have still got a price on I've noticed by some of these um, tickets you can't always get them off especially being them I don't know if anybody else had the problem trying to you know pry them off but since I knew what the price was anyway, which was three ninety nine, I didn't bother taking the tag off of those. Um, you've seen these from Christmas Day. I've got this one from my friend. This center I can explain. And I do love that. I love that. And when I spoke to my friend about this one, she went to a Christmas fete, and a gentleman had made these, um, so it went to a good cause as well. The um, you know the money that was purchased with it and that's good because I can put the year on underneath and add that to my tree and she also bought me um, Denise's caravan mug which is I'm really happy about because one of my mugs did actually chip in the caravan so I've got this one um, when I did a lot of video in well I wouldn't say it was a lot a bit on Christmas Day 
I believe up until the last bit that I did come on camera, everything was just put music to. That was because I didn't want to keep shushing um, family members and talking everything. And I did really want to leave Christmas Day and um, Christmas Eve as family days. And Boxing Day has been just been like a relaxing um, movie time, gaming time, family time, do you know what I mean? And I got a couple of little bits, but as I said, for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and Boxing Day, I cut down on a lot of the things that I normally do, like washing and everything like that. Um, just a general tidy up. I wouldn't say 30, well, it could be 30 minutes, but mainly, you know, just making sure most things are put up, except obviously the presents and everything, which has taken a while to get round to. But tomorrow being um, Friday, it's losing track. It is my uncle's 80th birthday and we may be popping to um, Bedfordshire to go and see him, all being well. So um, that again is another family time. As I said, that's where we catch up on most of the um, visiting during Christmas because hub is off. Although other members of the family might not be, um, me and hubby get a chance to try and do our rounds around the family but anyway from somebody else they know i love baylis and harding and i love these sets and i've got this one which is sweet mandarin and grapefruit and it is the moisturizing hand and body lotion and the cleansing hand wash and i do love these and um, to tell you the truth that is brilliant because that would go lovely in my cloakroom which is basically black white and cream anyway so that is a refill and i'm hoping i'm not 100 percent sure i'm hoping that the um, bottles will fit because i took like the um toothbrush glass and the glass dish that had the soap in off so it just leaves the ring on the wall and sometimes these bottles depending on which brand it is will fit will just slide in and will hold because i've got no vanity in it so it's quite small area so i just love baylis and harden and i think they make super gifts and lovely to receive so i'm really happy about that i do like all my nice lotions and soaps um another one i got was a l'oreal um this is an oil it smells absolutely gorgeous this was an item i got um, for my youngest son that was in my stocking and that's what I got as I said and it smells absolutely gorgeous yeah oh, lovely so that's that and that's by L'Oreal so I so I tend to not buy too many um, lotions and soaps and everything for myself during Christmas because sometimes I tend to get them and also I have a birthday in January so I get a lot of things you know people know what I like generally um, or they'll ask me and I'll, I'll say what I do like and purchase. or if they're like me you don't tend to be nosy but when you use somebody's bathroom I don't know if anybody does this the same you make a mental note of what products they use I, I know my mother-in-law, I've done it with my mother-in-law's, and I actually said, oh, I've noticed she's got so-and-so bubble bath on the side, I hadn't seen her use it before, and she says, oh, I'm just trying something new out, oh, do you like it? Yes, I do, do you know what I mean? And she's another one that likes the Bayless and Hardin range, and she's always got these soaps as well. So it's just something, you know, to be aware of, not necessarily being nosy and creepy, I don't go through cupboards or, you know, start touching things, but... You, you tend to notice these things or like what tea or coffee people use. It all adds up, you know, if you make a note of it somewhere so you, you don't clog your brain up like me and I'm there on my phone, you know, and then I'd put it in my Christmas um, planner of ideas, you know, making small hampers up, um, whether it's food items, sweets, chocolates, biscuits, or even if it's toiletries, like a spa time. It's all these sort of things, because I have got a few members of the family that only use certain products. I mean, we love Dove, anything Dove, and we're on it. So that's that one empty. Um, as you know, this is my son's. Um, he had this jacket. We didn't buy each other an awful lot. I think more money was spent 
but not a full budget on our granddaughter because they are moving soon and we're putting a budget aside for a chest of drawers or wardrobe or something like that for her new bedroom once they know how much space they've got so that is that one the thing is in our family is if um to a certain extent if there's something we need <laughs> We just tend to buy it in a, in the, in a way as long as it's not too something too expensive. Like my son, bless him, he brought a new console. Very early Christmas present, I think it was towards the end of September. I'm sure it was Xbox. I think it was an Xbox. I can't keep up with these things and games and everything. And I know he, he had new headphones, things like that. So that sort of thing. And I will say that we did purchase the, a new deep fry defat fryer and also on mine I had it on um, Black Friday is my new Kindle and I think that was about 84 99 or something and we got a bit reduced but I did have that um, before Christmas because my make put so I mean that was quite an expensive gift and something that I am actually included in this haul is my husband has a certain amount of e-liquid and everything for his electronic um, cigar um, his um, what do you call it his ciggy I call it ciggy um, but he has quite a few of them um, ones that it has for work and ones he has for home so um, I didn't think it was right me sort of um, broadcasting that sort of thing on, on the channel because it, it's supposed to be safe but I know that 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 people do have problems with it still so um yeah it's cutting down he has been on this um electronics um ciggy now for a uh, good fair use years now since it came out and it's cut right down um it's got to be more healthier than cigarettes so um yeah it's cutting down on that again we've got a selection of chocolates and sweets i'm just sort of sorting these all out into the categories um toiletries as i said um they were going to another category um it's got sweets so a lot of these um been through before and um they all had the um bath bombs and then there's um like um dvds and blu-rays um, one of them's downstairs because we, well, two of them downstairs. We watched, we had the animation of The Grinch and we also um, had Pikachu as well on Blu-ray, which are still downstairs. And then another category is clothing. And what I'm hoping to do is um, then um, collapse these boxes so that they can maybe be used again um, next year. So like there was Hubby's jumper so a lot of this I've actually hauled before um, we did have some money as well we have cut down a lot where it's um, to do with um, adults and then there's this t-shirt again I'm sure this is something I shared I wasn't listening so I'm going to smile nod and hope for the best let's have this t-shirt so because I'm in our room, so I can put those sort of things um, straight away. So that means that I'm starting to get these. These were my um, eldest son and my daughter-in-law's um, stockings. They um, opened their stockings then they transferred everything into their bags. Those um, reusable bags I got from Poundland that I said I rolled up and put in their stockings so that was good that's hubby's that's been emptied and then as I said I'm hoping that we might be able to collapse these boxes and I might be able to store them hopefully for next year I do like to get my money's worth out of the boxes um, I haven't started on the sales yet. I've got some budget. Um, not so anxious about going out this year, I don't think, um, to um, purchase bits, but I will have a look. There's a certain few shops I like to go to. Um, we never got round to going to Rushton Lakes. That's still on the card. It was supposed to be on the cards 
last Saturday then I had to go and ate to a and &E about my hand so that threw the whole complete day and put me out another day and then I was in pain so it took a couple of days to get over we may be going to Rushton Lakes on our sets this coming Saturday when you talk about Christmas Eve Christmas Day and Boxing Day I believe you lose track of what day it is especially when you're not working so yeah so those are the boxes so um and that's more clothing and then um more clothing this is my son's t-shirt i've all, might have got it screwed up this was the batman one and yeah i did leave the tag on this was reduced down to um five pounds from ten and i gave the t-shirts that i got in the sale just yeah just before christmas it was on the monday when we went to get our um fresh fruit and veg um, that I picked up a couple of t-shirts, Christmas t-shirts, so they were rolled up and put in my son's and my daughter-in-law's um, stockings. So um, what else have we got? He did get a diary. I need to, I think, get one for my handbag because um, I do like a diary as well. Then he has got a number of Blu-rays. He's got the X-Men Days of Future Past. I do like these sort of ones. Fantastic Four on Blu-ray. Astrid's. I'm sure they made a f years and years and years ago. I seem to remember. I'm sure my young son went and dragged his uncle um, to the cinema to watch Astrid, the actual um, movie version. I'll have to keep a look out for that. And then, as you know, I bought him Los Angeles season four, um, NCIS um, from Amazon. So I say that all go, they're all go on the shelf. Some of them, what I tend to do is I've still got my um, tartan um, box with my Christmas books in. So what I will do with maybe not so much Los Angeles because that will be how um, you know put up, but some of these ones, like the blue rays, that's just that, I will keep down there until um, Christmas is over. Now it is Boxing Day, now let me just say something. <laughs> a lot of people will say, especially if they have to go back to work, once Christmas Day is over, that's Christmas over. Not for me, no, 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 no. Christmas to me actually finishes the 2nd of January. Um, once New Year's Day is over with, the 2nd of January, when everybody returns to work who haven't already returned to work, like hubby, and I start taking the decorations down. I don't now take the decorations down until um, after the first because we have another fa family get together. I know, I don't know on YouTube if people will be taking their, their Christmas decorations down between Christmas and New Year, I don't know. I had thought about it. The only problem is um, all our boxes are in the loft and I'll be in hell of a mess again. And Hubby goes back on the second, which is Thursday. It's a Thursday. And so he'll be at work Thursday and Friday, but then he'll be off at the week, the following weekend. So it'd be like the fourth and fifth, is it? Lost track. I think it's the fourth and fifth. So what I might do is plan that weekend to take all the decorations down, have all the boxes down the loft, put them all away and get them back up the loft. Then I have a blitz, well, hoover all the way through, or I try to do, as it gets, you know, just, the tinsel gets everywhere, doesn't it? And then maybe a day or so later, I don't know if it'd be that particular weekend, then I'll start thoroughly cleaning again. Um, that, that That's the plan anyway. <laughs> I keep having these plans, but I don't know, for some reason, um, we, we get a bit off track, but that is the reason. As it used to be, especially if New Year's Day used to be on a, say, a Friday or a Saturday, then, and the second used to be on a Sunday and hubby used to be off, then we used to take all the decorations down before he goes back to work. He preferred that, decorations down, go to work, you know, return to work. And I could see the point, but I don't think it's gonna happen this, this time. One year I did actually take all the decorations and trees down and everything and I had them all in um, the little um, categories in each of the rooms. 
but I was in such a mess because then I was waiting for the someone to come home and get all the boxes down from the loft and then that ran late and trying to get everything back and I was just in a hell of a mess so I think I will wait and leave that weekend free um, as I said to get everything put away I don't like putting my decorations away I must admit I am a Christmas person as you probably keep hearing me say I do love it hubby loves it not that he's a Grinch or is a humbug not not too much he goes along with me anyway um he just feels as though he can breathe and it seems as though it's less cluttered and I must admit for a moment there I think oh don't it look don't it look boring don't it look empty then I then I can get the um the feeling that yes because I don't know and I mentioned this before I don't feel as though you can clean so well um when the decorations are up it doesn't matter how well you hoover or clean I don't know if you're the same you still pick up tinsel on your clothes and everything and get caught so yeah right so what we've got him here um finishing off yes that is his old phone case he did put his case on his phone um christmas day and yes um more toiletries and of course he had the bath bomb still not tried those normally um boxing day um we tend to or i do tend to have a pampered session because I feel as though, you know, after having all the visitors Christmas Eve and um, then Christmas Day, obviously, um, it's quite a busy time, you know, especially your main meal. A lot of work goes into that main meal. Thanks, Hubby, you did an amazing job. If you've seen the shots, he did cook the whole of the Christmas dinner. I didn't actually clean up either. My youngest son did that. Yes, so. In between those bits I was allowed to sort of hopefully answered a few comments while, while they're clearing up and did a little bit of editing to try and keep on top of it and I seem to be finding these absolutely everywhere which is that um, popping candy so I put that with the um, sweet so what I'm saying is a lot some more a lot of these stockings then I kept the box down I've got a box just for the stockings and sacks so they will all go together and then I've just got a few bits of my own. This is what I mean. Um, I use these a lot and I put one of these in my own stocking. Yeah, I know that was sad. Um, but I'm glad I have actually because it's the only thing at the moment I've got because I haven't sorted the planner out. Although I'm sure I have got one um, for this year. Because sometimes I like to get the planners that are not actually um, dated. So I think... Um, someone bought me, I, besides my gold one, which I've been using, and I love that one to bits, I got another one, I think, in the sale um, after last Christmas, um, possibly for this this year. So I might have to sort that out. I know where it is, but, um, yeah. So, But this is the only form of can to set for my phone that I've got, um, in case anything crops up. Um, I did put um, the Minions Apple Reed Diffuser in my stocking because hubby sometimes gets a little bit annoyed with me because this is you make everybody else's stockings up but don't put much in yours and some of the items as I said um, I have shown you um, and I've split them between the females and myself um, again I have got all the socks because i need to have some new fluffy socks and everything so that goes along with the clothing i i've also got a recess snowman um, i bought a few of these these were on offer one pound fifty from iceland i pulled out a set of the um nail polishes for myself and i've also got the christmas nail polish and i have got the lipstick as well and Christmas nails. Now, unfortunately, at the time, I haven't worn any nail polish, you realise now, since just before Christmas, and that is because of my hand and everything, so I took it all off. Um, 
when I had my instant, I took my nail polish off. Now this might be silly, and I don't think it would affect um, the x-ray. I don't know about nail polishes, but I think it was in the back of my mind. I don't know whether it would affect it, because a lot of the time I have nail polish on, and it has um, glitter in it. And I don't know if that affected it. Obviously, I managed to get my ring off, but I don't know if nail polish or glitter or sometimes I even have like metal strips on my nails so I did take um, everything off my nails before I went to the hospital um, just in case um, and they did actually do it on my fingers and everything x-ray it so it's just as well so I've got a few of those things I have got a couple of things on my list and I'm hoping it's not too late to get them I'm still want that um, fleece that Mickey fleece, I think it was the red truck or car with the tree. And we are going to Rushton Lakes and they've got a big Primark there. But I'm hoping it's not going to be too late to get that fleece blanket. I have got that on my list. And we, I did have some Christmas money as well, so I want to see if that's there. And also to get anything that's still Christmas Mickey, Minnie, Disney, because I may alter this round for next Christmas. May still have my owl bedding and everything, but as I said, um, this has been, this bedding now has been washed every week um, since I've put it on. Washed, put it back on. Washed, put it back on. I just love it. I have got another set, um, but the next time this comes off, I don't know if this will be the last time you see it because once this comes up again and washes it, I will just go to my tartan. I think um, because obviously things will start um, not necessarily coming down but just probably decluttering a little bit as I said I don't want to make too much mess until I've got um, everything down from the loft for the boxes and storage so I'm gonna put this in segments as I said all the stockings can go in a box and then that will go up the loft when the other boxes come down and I have it in segments like clothes, as I said, DVDs and Blu-rays, toiletries, sweets, chocolates, food items, and I think that covers it. Um, I said toiletries, and probably be miscellaneous, and things like this will go in my um, set of drawers I've got downstairs in my craft cupboard. So that's another sort of segment um, separate from. The toiletries so I'm going to do that and then I'm just neating this up because I've just got it piled up here at the moment roughly in the piles but then I'll show you what I mean right so quickly recapping um, so like sweets chocolates biscuits are in that pile um, yeah hubby has been wearing his and there's mine there um, my socks, thick socks, hubby's been wearing his um, then we've got those boxes all the stockings there to go away then hubby's clothing my son's clothing my socks I'm wearing my jumper as I said um, DVDs and Blu-rays although there's still a couple downstairs toiletries obviously some of those are going in my toiletry stash and like the bath bombs will go straight into the bathroom. Tech, which that's his old um, mobile phone cover. And then I've got my um, Kindle box. A um, bit of miscellaneous. Um, that bottle that will go in. I'm going to put, probably put that somewhere after my Christmas decorations go away. And that will go to the caravan. That will be put up until my um, reed diffusers have run out couple of Christmas bits there and then obviously they'll go down in my craft cubby along with my nail stuff and lipsticks and everything and then I've got me um, diary here that will go on my desk and I kept one of those keyrings because I like to put that on one of my gold um, um, pencil cases or makeup bags or something like that that has all my pens on so that is roughly what it is so i'm going to put it all away now but as i said i may have gone on a bit along about this but this is the sort of thing that i do and i make it a lot easier and this is also when i'd get rid of a lot of packaging which we have got rid of 
like the packaging these were in and a few other bits as well so I think I might actually um, finish it here actually because uh, um, we're gonna have a chill out time watch another movie I think we're watching Hellboy tonight and um, have tea or should I say going on supper and so I hope you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching goodbye Thank you.